what's one powerful story that has stood by you and has def- and is defining you it's a story which is something that all of us have grown up with okay which is called um, this part of i think the aesop's fables which is the clever uh, throw right um which is you know there is this throw which is looking for water and then there was very little water in the pitcher and how you know it put out this stuff correct it was the most powerful story for me and i continue to um you know sort of develop narratives around this story with my life experience right when i was a child it was the cleverness which was told to us right that was the title of the story which is clever and being clever was considered cool okay but as we go up uh, grow up and go up ladders if you want to look at it that way you'll realize it just goes back to the fundamental thing that we dis- discussed which is the, the crow believed in deservability he or she deserved water she did not want to play the victim card that i don't have access okay. i created a story for myself to access what i really want whether it is for survival or what it is right so that's a separate narrative that comes to me third i always think that nothing can replace resilience and perseverance okay um there are a lot of people who are very smart there are lots of people who start off with best of the intent but some way you feel that there is a short uh, shortcut or you can short circuit your way to success and i think this is this is the only place where i'd like a lot of millennials to reach okay there is no shortcut there is absolutely no short circuit to it in fact if you if a crow chose to uh, throw larger stones inside the in the pitcher the pitcher would perhaps give way and break yes so there is a time there is a place uh, for everything correct so what you think you are not able to access today is perhaps ready you for a journey when you will be able to access it when it's of much greater importance to you absolutely having said that you also need to be very tactical in figuring out at what point of time should i leave which picture and chase which picture right so this is a very simple story but each time i think about this i find so many ways to interpret what this stands for absolutely very well said and this is i mean like we say this is something that is very personal it's a universal story but the the interpretation that you are giving and the narratives changes through your experience right and that's that's very well connected to what we discussed earlier as well right about how the the narration should uh, have its authenticity and connect to what you believe in right and thanks thanks smita for sharing this with us like the last bit about this is um crow is not a very attractive bird correct tell me how many people in the world would actually say well i love a crow correct you, you don't you don't attach any bit, bit of aesthetics to it correct it's still so something so intriguing about it yes why not a parrot in the story why not a cuckoo why is it a crow but it's meant it's meant to drive stories around deservability correct it starts with your head absolutely absolutely mm-hmm.